to the K, 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 C on Channel 5. So what's up with 1830? Well, Indian Removal Act by Andrew Jackson on May 28th. And also, the sewing machine was just made, and there was an exchange of 8 million acres of land for the Oklahoma Territory. Nat Turner leads a revolt of enslaved African Americans. William Lloyd Garrison published the abolitionist paper, The Liberator, to encourage the end of enslavement. I, William Lloyd Garrison, wrote The Liberator, and it is now published. So buy your copy today for ten cents a piece. And we're back in 1832. What's happening in 1832? Well, I'll tell you what's happening, Cass. Okay. Well, in 1832, Andrew Jackson re was re-elected versus Henry Clay. Uh, and you know what else happened? What happened? There was the beginning of the campaign for the Trail of Tears. Oh, how sad. <laughs> I, Andrew Jackson, was nominated for a second term for president. Welcome back to 1833! The first national abolitionist organization, the American Anti-Slavery Society, is formed. Oberlin College admits both men and African Americans along with white men. Uh, um, Americans in Texas territory vote to separate Texas from Mexico. We, we can, can finally, finally attend, attend school! school. Yay! <laughs> Reporting from 1834. Hmm. <sighs> so, where are we? Right here. Okay. Senate opposes Jackson over the removal of funds to topple the Bank of the United States. With a smile line. That's my line. No, it's my. That's my line. <laughs> Welcome back to 1835. The Cherokee are forced to flee from Georgia because gold is found in Georgia. President Jackson has begun to threaten France because the French had not paid all of the American claims which they had agreed upon in their treaty in 1831. by gold and silver. There's a mob in Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> mob in Charleston, South Carolina, burns abolitionist literature and expels abolitionist writers. <laughs> Don't cry, it's gonna be okay. Speculation and worthless currency led President Jackson to issue the Species Circular, which requires that public lands be paid for gold and silver, gold and silver, <laughs> and 
things. Instead of pay for money. <laughs> ah, sorry. I want Texas. No, I want Texas. I want Texas. No, I want Texas. I got Texas. Welcome back to 1837. Ah! Ah! Kira. Martin Van Buren is inaugurated as president. Michigan was admitted as a 26th state. The first U.S. electric printing press, press was patented. Also, the steel plow was invented. It's 1838! Okay, so there was a removal of 17,000 Cherokee Indians from Georgia on the Trail of Tears that caused about 8,000 deaths, and the Underground Railroad was organized. Violent anti-British feelings in the U.S. Kentucky passes law to allow women to attend schools under certain conditions. <laughs> Um, the era of photography begins in the United States as Louis de Grasse's process for capturing photography is introduced. The first U.S. anti-slavery party, the Liber Liberty Party, convenes in New York. The first celestial photograph of the moon made in the U.S. by John Draper in New York. Jackson has begun to threaten French because France, France, not the French, France, because I can't. It a curricular and it made, um, okay, sorry, this is hard. <laughs> is it curricular? Circular, my bad. Can we do this again? Uh -huh. Welcome back. This is 1836 and we're doing this. Welcome back to no. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. How many colonial women does it make? <laughs>